In this video, you're going to learn how to work with an absolute value inequality writing one given a word problem. So let's dive in and we'll talk about this. So it says here, in order for a part to pass inspection, it must be within two millimeters of its desired size of 20 millimeters. Write an absolute value inequality that represents the size of parts that will pass inspection and write an absolute value inequality for parts that will fail inspection. So when I'm doing absolute value inequality word problems, I oftentimes like to think of this as a template, like x minus your target value, okay, is greater than or greater than or equal to or less than or less than or equal to the deviation, meaning like how far off you are, okay? So this could be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. In this case, our target value is a size of 20 millimeters. So I might say X minus 20. And if it passes, it has to be uh, within, meaning it has to be less than two millimeters away from that size. So within would be less than or equal to two millimeters. Now, graphically, if you wanna draw uh, a graph of this, see, minus means the difference, but it also means the distance. It's saying the distance between some number and 20 is less than or equal to, meaning closer than or equal to two millimeters away. So it could be here at 22, okay, or closer, or it could be over here at 18 or closer. So you can see this is gonna be all these values here in between 18 and 22. Now the ones that are gonna fail, those parts are gonna be greater than two millimeters. What I mean by that is like further away, like if you were to graph this, here's 20, Here's 22, here's 18. It has to be greater than 22 or less than 18. So when you think about this, you wanna think about your variable, your target value, the distance between those two. If you want it to be closer, you're gonna to wanna to use less than or less than or equal to. If you want it to be further away, you're gonna to wanna to use greater or greater than or equal to. Now, sometimes students say, well, Mario, how do I actually solve these absolute value inequalities? I know you're able to do a graph here, that helps. But what you can do is you can, when it's a less than, you think of and. When it's greater than, you think of or. Or means union. It's all these points as well as all these points. So or means union, and means the intersection. But when it's an and, what you can do is you can take this quantity that's an absolute value. It's going to be less than or equal to 2, and this quantity is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Then what you can do is you can solve it by adding 20 to the left middle and right, and you get 18 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 22. See, x is in between 18 and 22, just like we see on the graph. If you're given a greater than absolute value, you can split this up into two inequalities. x minus 20 is greater than two, or x minus 20 is, now watch this, we're gonna flip this inequality sign, and we're gonna change this to the opposite. Now if I add 20 to both sides, x is less than 18, or add 20 to both sides, x is greater than 22. Again, remember, or means both. It's all the parts that are less than 18 millimeters, they're gonna fail. All the parts that are greater than 22 millimeters, those are gonna fail. So or means both, and both these categories, and means the intersection. It's less than or equal to 22, and it's greater than or equal to 18, that's the overlap or the intersection, that's the parts that are in between 18 and 22 inclusive. If you wanna write this in interval notation, you would write it with the bracket, 18 to 22 bracket. Here you would say uh, less than 18 would be negative infinity to 18, not including, and this would be uh, union uh, from 22, not including, to positive infinity, not including infinity. So if you wanna learn more about solving absolute value uh, inequalities. I'll put a link to a video I did right there, and we'll talk about the and type, the or type, how to solve them. I'll see you over in that video right there. We'll get some more practice.